Hello. This is my Lectio Divina series I'm creating for people who want to practice devotionals in the format of Lectio Divina and then also want to learn the contemplative practice, the ancient practice of contemplation from the early Christian church. So when I create these, I'm doing it in the morning, and so it's part of my devotions. So I do this with you, and hopefully, you know, the first time through, it's been fine. But sometimes I have to do these three or four times. So um, you get the best version. All right, so let's begin. The phases of Lectio Divina, or Lectio Divina, um, are all um, inundated with the Holy Spirit. So whether we're reading the lesson, or um, praying, or reflecting, or contemplating, we're counting on the Holy Spirit coming to guide us in the meaning of this passage, and then in the meaning of whatever God wants to speak to us um, in his heart. So um, I want you to realize that throughout this the Holy Spirit is speaking to you so that's why it's a sacred time and that's why the quiet is so essential our lesson for today is Romans 12 9 through 15 I love Paul's letters and so today I was hunting for one in Romans that really it captured the love and this one is so beautiful because it's love in action. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. In our first reflection, we're trying to make sure we understand exactly what the Lord is saying in this passage. So I ask you to take 30 seconds or more. Remember you can turn off the video if you're journaling your response or if you are um, wanting to take more time and not feel rushed. So I will give you 30 seconds and proceed but it's up to you how long you want this to last. So let's reflect. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. In this second reflection, reflect on what God is saying to you today. Let the Holy Spirit guide you in directions or a new way to think. Let's reflect.
Let's turn to prayer. Oratio, conversational prayer to the Lord. I will say my prayer, and then um, feel free, though, for you to stop and have your own prayer with God. Lord, give me the love to have sincere empathy for all the people around me. I think the kind of love you describe is much more that I can do on my own because that description in this passage is supernatural love. Fill me with the Holy Spirit in all of my daily activities. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Our next prayer is contemplation. In contemplation, we don't converse. We listen. God speaks to our hearts. Contemplation is listening to God. The Holy Spirit writes on our hearts. Today we don't understand, but over time, fruits of the Spirit become more active in our lives as a result. It's a hidden grace that we're receiving today. Let's begin contemplation, resting in God. Hello, welcome back. Hello. I realized that I had not um, mentioned to turn off the video when you contemplate. Um, and the reason is just that some of you will be able to, uh, as beginners, find, find five minutes is about all you can take. But gradually over time, you, and, and practice, you become able to do then maybe 10 minutes, then maybe 15 minutes, then maybe 20. Okay, the standard time is 20 minutes. And a lot of people try to contemplate twice a day, um, just the ending prayer. They don't have to do the Lexio Divina a second time, but contemplate a second time. But it's up to you and how you manage to organize your day. Well, after contemplation, what should have happened? Well, despite the fact you maybe didn't feel anything, you've been with the Holy Spirit. You've been resting with the Holy Spirit. God has spoken to your heart but you didn't understand but God has spoken to your heart and you've received some gifts of the Spirit all right that's what we're promised when we are allowing the Holy Spirit into our lives we automatically as a promise receive gifts of the Spirit and that's why if you practice intentionally more often sitting in the Spirit of God the fruits should manifest themselves more and more over time and and you will notice a change in your attitude and in your habits and 
in maybe what you call your vices, lack of patience, anger, etc. Our scriptural passage describes supernatural love. And these actions of love are fruits of the Spirit as well. That means that daily contemplative practice has the capacity to enrich us with the Holy Spirit's gifts of love, specifically. Over the course of the Christian Church, the revelations to those in communion with God in this contemplative manner have shown overwhelmingly that God is love. God is love. We keep emphasizing love because that's what our world lacks. And yet God gives abundantly. Mother Teresa commented that the saddest thing about today's situation and how many people are lost and don't know that God loves them. People who withdraw in silence for periods of time have been ridiculed for not caring about the world and other people in it, I think you are beginning to see that that isn't accurate. Sitting in silence with God and receiving His love enriches our role in being loving Christians that God intended for all of us to be. We are empowered to do our day, in our daily interactions with others, regardless of the kind of job we hold or who we spend time with. So, once again, I wanted to remind you that I feel your presence. This is not like me contemplating at home. When I sit here with you in this devotional, I feel like I do when I'm at the church on a Saturday with 60 to 100 other people contemplating together. Um, perhaps that is mysterious. but and And I was surprised. But that is the feeling that I have when I'm here with you online. So please come again, and I'll be anxious to feel your presence then. Talk to you later. Bye.